video from Drone 13 now. Neighbors in Lodi shocked to learn a man accused of driving a truck through a crowd of protesters in Pasadena may have used his family vineyard as a tactical training camp of sorts, stocking up on weapons and gear. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in Lodi with reaction from his community. Marissa? Yeah, Benjamin Hung is facing several federal weapons charges this afternoon. Again, he's also accused of using his family vineyard as that tactical training camp before mowing down a group of protesters in Pasadena. Sorry to hear that there was some bloodshed and things are polarized and that doesn't help the situation. Todd Maley doesn't know Benjamin Hung personally, but does know his family. They're good neighbors and... I'm sorry that, you know, things have uh, not gone well. He lives less than a mile from where federal officials say Hung used his family vineyard as a, quote, training camp to prepare and engage in civil disorders. Court records show he collected assault rifles, pistols, ammunition, and tactical equipment here. It's neighbors who told the FBI they heard gunfire at least twice a month for two hours at a time. But Maley says he never witnessed anything like that. I don't think that's going on in the area. I'm pretty familiar with the area. So other than uh, dove hunting, um, there haven't been too many uh, out of the ordinary uh, occurrences. Federal officials say Hung intentionally drove his truck through a crowd of peaceful protesters who were shouting Black Lives Matter in Pasadena. Thankfully, no one was hurt. They say his truck was found with flags associated with right-wing extremist groups. Other neighbors say they were shocked to hear about the operation and want it shut down. So if somebody's doing something, you know, uh, malicious in our vineyards, it isn't going to go well for them. And yeah, we're told the Hung family is not speaking to the media this afternoon. We are told Benjamin Hung's mother is distraught after hearing about these charges. For now, Benjamin Hung is in a downtown Los Angeles jail awaiting a bail hearing this coming Monday. All right, Marissa, thank you.